I do indeed. We've just come towards the dam, and thanks to Connor, we now get to spend some time with some Ellies, which always makes me very happy. Yes, hello to you too. We're getting sniffed at the moment. We had a trunk out and was just saying hello quickly. So, hello everybody, and our Ellie is being rather on the friendly side. There's quite a few of them actually here. I see there's another three up further, closer towards where Connor is. I can actually see Connor. Connor's on the top up there, and so it's very cool to see, and I'm really glad that Connor is flying the drone. It's such an incredible view when you see these animals from the top. It just looks so different, and I'm sure Tara is loving seeing the images from the drone itself. She was saying to me she's super excited to see what it looks like from up there, so I'm sure she's really enjoying it. It's, it really is quite something, and Connor's skill with the drone is always really good to see as well. Look, look how this Ellie is smelling. So the wind is blowing from the camp towards where this elephant is and I'm pretty sure that elephant can pick up the scent of people around the camp. Look how it's lifting its trunk just to get a bit more of the scent on the wind and to work out exactly what's going on. Very cool. So from that, that elephant will know, okay, there's people somewhere here. doesn't have to worry too much because they're not too close. And it can then just take it easy. The trunk will move around a little bit. And once it figures out exactly where things are, it will then move off and carry on with its day. Now, it looks like a young male that we've got over there. And then there's a couple females around as well. And this is a completely different grouping than what we've been seeing over the last few days. They're not the same Ellie's. So I'd imagine these have come in from Buffles Hook. There was some elephants up in Buffles Hook this morning that might have come now south from Tamburti Dam area towards the dam itself. And typical elephant at this time of the afternoon is still feeding. I don't know if they've been to the water already. Maybe Connor will know if they came from the water side. It doesn't look like they've got water around their legs or on their ears. You'll find when it's warm like this, often what elephants will do is go down to a water source. They'll suck up big trunkfuls of water and they'll then spray it up against their ears. So as the ear opens out, they spray it on those veins behind the ears and that cools the blood much faster than them actually having to flap so they can save a bit of energy doing it. So when they've been to water on a day like this, you can often see it because of the spray that is on the back of that ear and you can see where they've actually been drinking from. So it seems as though they haven't quite gotten to the water or they were at the water earlier, much earlier, and they've now dried out a little bit. So also remember with elephant skin is that they do absorb water. So if they spray water on them, it doesn't just run off. They actually absorb it. And so it takes quite a long time for them to appear dry. They, if they've been near water, they'll often appear a lot darker than what they do now. But this elephant in front should be very easy to identify. Not this one. Said the one to the right at the back there. So you can see yesterday, or two days ago, we had a bull elephant with a massive U in his ear. Now this particular Ellie's got a really big V on the right ear, so that will be an easy way to ID it. And when it comes to Ellie's, yes, they're just sniffing us now as well. <laughs> so when it comes to Ellie's and identifying them, this is how you do it, is you use ears predominantly and then tusk shapes and that will be able to show you exactly what's going on with it with, with these guys so that will be one for the future if we ever see these guys again we'll be able to idea it just from that v catherine you say every day is ellie day to you well catherine i agree the ellies are so spectacular i always enjoy spending time with them and we're so lucky to have had ellies back in this area as much as we've had. I remember going two cycles without seeing any elephants. Now we've got Ellie's, pretty much I've had them every day since I've been back. So I'm super happy that they're around and super glad to be seeing them. So I'm glad you are too, Catherine. I think Ellie's have got to be one of my favorite animals to spend long periods of time with. And especially out in big open areas like this, you know, so seldom we get to see them in open sections. I know in the Mara they're seen a lot and there's big grassy areas and they get to see this sort of big animal roaming through the grasslands. But here it's a little bit more dense and thick and so we don't see it nearly as often. So I always enjoy these sightings near quarantine and around the dam. Yes, hello. So you see the posturing that's going on? Typical of a young male that's trying to impose himself on us. What are you going to do? Hmm? Leopard lover, you're wondering if the trunk of an elephant grows throughout its lifetime. Well, yes, it grows with its body. So you'll find that the Ellie's legs, its body, its head, everything grows. And so the trunk does as well. There we go. It's going down off towards the nest cam.
gets her quickly before she goes over the boundary which is really excellent news so I'm going to try and get there and leave these Ellie's to themselves and see if we can't get there quite quickly because like I said